Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick update um, to discuss the, what's been going on and with content and some changes in the game. Uh, I had just cleared the weather and apparently the game has other ideas, so let's go ahead and clear that again real quick. Um, there we go. Um, so as you can see, we're back here at Ten Pines Bluff. Uh, again, this is an update video, not a build video. Um, I just kind of wanted to get on here real quick Ain't and... Looking for trouble. You know, say thank you to everybody um, for all of the support and um, also apologize for the lack of content. Um, so, obviously, I will get to the elephant in the room, which is all of this green stuff. But first, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, that part of the reason um, that we haven't been getting videos out consistently is just because life happens. Um, you know, we had several things, right, one right after the other, um, including, you know, taken in family um, after a hurricane. And then after that, the other thing that happened was that we um, started building a shed. And with that, we are building it ourselves, and the only time we have to work on it is the weekend. Um, we initially started it um, a couple months ago, and we live in Texas, and it was still extremely hot. The only time we have to work on it is on the weekends. By the time we both, you know, do our full work day, supper, all of that, there's just not really enough time to do anything that needed to be done. Um, that being said, we called for inspection um, hey. and uh, sorry, I can't even see you to finish that conversation there, guy. Uh, we called for inspection and we passed. Um, it's a shed, so there wasn't a whole lot to it. Um, we still have quite a bit to do, but the first part is done. Um, and we had to keep working on it every weekend because you only have so long in the build permit before it expires. So we had to get that, get to a point where we could call for inspection. And now um, it's not quite as big of a rush. We can, we can take some more time. Um, so instead of working every Saturday and Sunday for the majority of the day, and then being completely wiped out between the heat and the fact that we're not really spring chickens anymore. Uh, you know, it, if we want to take a, you know, work on a Saturday and then take a Sunday off, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so what that means for the channel is that we should be able to get back to creating content here soon because the weekends is when we have time to record and edit. Um, I've managed to squeeze in some editing after I get off work here and there, but it's limited. Um, just because even though I'm supposed to get off at 4.30, there's no guarantee I'm going to. Um, there's a lot of times where I end up working until 5, 5.30, sometimes 6, 7 o'clock. It just depends on the day and what else happening. I work in IT and we're a 24-7 company, so, um, when I'm on call, there's a good chance I'm not going to get off on time. Um, all right, so now on to this beautiful green stuff. Um, I downloaded a greenery mod, and part of the reason for that is simply because it just never really sat that well with me that... Uh, we have, you know, people surviving, and you have all of these bushes, and, um, you know, random wildflowers, like the hub flower, and asters, and then you've got, like, 
crops that all grow, but none of the trees, none of the grass, like no, none of that has come back. Um, and especially after seeing the series, you know, and seeing that there were areas. Now, obviously, the closer you get to, you know, where the bombs fell, I could see it being completely desolate still. Um, and, you know, mutated, sure. You know, mutt fruit or mute fruit, depending on how you say it. Um, I usually do mute fruit because I see it as mutated fruit. Um, you know, fever blossom, all of this stuff. So it can, uh, it, you know, it's all surviving and thriving. So why wouldn't the rest of this stuff come back? Um, there is some areas that look a little funky, kind of washed out, this being an example. Um, but I'm not even 100% sure that this came from the Greenery mod. It might be from another mod that I downloaded. Um, so I'm going to have to play with that for a little bit. But honestly, it really doesn't bother me that bad. So essentially what this mod does is it replaces uh, a lot of the dead trees with live ones and adds some live ones as well. Um, Got work to do, can't talk now. And then trees, and it adds some random wildflowers. Um, to see those, we would, you know, need to run around the Commonwealth. Um, I do know of a spot where there's one, so I might fast travel over there real quick. But uh, I'm trying to keep this video fairly short for you. Um, but it also adds in some more bushes. Um, the bushes look a little nicer. Uh, they aren't quite so pixelated. And like the vines and stuff, um, like here you can see is another random bush and some grasses kind of mixed in there. Um, the vines, although they still essentially look dead, they, they look better. Um, I would have to find some in order for you to see. But adding this mod has done a couple of things. One, I think it's going to make it faster for me to decorate um, because I'm not going to be clearing out every single dead tree, uh, bush, whatever on in the settlement just to place down new ones from mods that we have. Here's another one of those bushes that I was talking about. Just looks better. Um, there's some of the vines. So... To me, these look better than they did um, before the mod. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that they look better. They just, they don't look as pixelated and flat. Um, all of the crops and stuff look a lot better too. I don't know if you saw that. Um, these are all kind of vines and stuff. Um, yeah, they just look better. Um, but this has also made the game very fresh for me, um, because in running around testing this, I have been ambushed time and time again. And I've been ambushed because I can't see stuff coming. And I can't see stuff coming because there's uh, all kinds of trees and bushes and flowers and places to hide the things that we would normally see. Um, and I'm okay with that, because I've already played the game in its original form. Uh, something else that it did <laughs> was change the, uh, the road. Um, I'm not mad at it. I actually kind of prefer it. It doesn't look as washed out. Um, and again, I am not 100% sure that the greenery mod did this. Uh, it might be one of the other mods that I have. Oh. Made it. Time. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's some hub flower and just, you know, some other wildflowers kind of sitting around in here. Oh. Damn. Kill that real quick. Oh, and then I missed it. Of course I did. I had no choice. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, but yeah, just some other random flowers. And those all look nicer to me. Uh, got a bunch of these little blue flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and fast travel to where I know there is a field of, you know, other colored and diversified flowers. So I will be back momentarily. All right, we are at Concord Farms and it's getting kind of dark. I should have changed the uh, time. So let me do that real quick. Sorry, guys. Should have did it before I went back to recording. Thankfully, it doesn't take very long. Uh, one get noon. All right, so I believe it's like right up over here somewhere. Ah, right here. Yes. So you've got these yellow and light purple flowers. They're just growing wild and free. Essentially wildflowers. Just taking over this little grassy area. Um, and we'll go take a look at um, Concord, which is uh, right over here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Red Rocket's up there. Um, I've been back here recently and cleared the raiders out again. Brotherhood has still showed up, so I can't say that they won't be here, but we should be mostly clear. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we've got some trees and flowers, and of course now it's raining. Random tufts of green grass growing in the cracks in the road. Um, just kind of sweep through here. Yeah. Overgrown bushes and stuff, you know, because nobody really lives here. Some live trees, and depending on where you go and look, there's some dead trees scattered in around too. It did not get rid of all the dead trees. Go back up this way. Just random bushes here and there. Just much livelier place. Overall, I'm pleased with it. Uh, I don't know if the blood bugs are back here. No. Okay. I didn't figure they would be. By the way. Um, but yeah, so anyway guys, um, again, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of your support, and I can't wait to get back to making videos for you, um, and we will see you in the next one.